Well, you know, texture looks great on a lot of things, like our clothing, our walls, materials, puppy dog fur, even there, but not on our skin. And I'm gonna tell you what to do about it in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you've got textured skin, you know that sort of weird sandpapery feel on your face, Today's video is definitely for you, but if you're new and you don't know who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, I'm a skincare expert, and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet, and not do more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you like, please be sure and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't miss my videos when they come out each week. All right, so textured skin. Very common problem happens to a lot of people, but what many don't know is that some of the very skincare products that we are using to get that really great, smooth, beautiful skin are contributing to the problem. Now, textured skin happens because of a buildup of old dead skin cells that stay stuck to the surface of our skin. And on the face, a lot of times this is due to an overzealous skincare routine, or as I said, some of the skincare products that we may be using. And I know that this is true because it's happened to me. Even hyaluronic acid, which is a skincare ingredient that we hear about all the time for moisturization, can lead to dryness and this textured skin problem, especially if it's not formulated or used properly. What the F, right? Well, let me explain. A lot of the skincare product formulations today that have things that we think of as exfoliators like glycolic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, may have a percentage of that ingredient that is so low that it doesn't really do the job for a lot of us. And that's what happened to me. I started using these products way back in the day and I noticed that I was getting this sort of crusty, sandpapery feel on my skin. I really didn't like it and I didn't like the way it looked. And then let's talk about hyaluronic acid, which is an ingredient that's supposed to moisturize your skin. It is able to hold a thousand times its molecular weight in moisture. Well, guess what? If it can't get the moisture from the air, it's gonna pull it from your skin, especially if you live in dry climates. And half the United States is a dry climate and many other places in the world, you guys that follow me and watch me know, this can be a real problem. So we've been seeing some complaints about hyaluronic acid use or some questions come up is why is my skin getting so dry and textured. Well, if it, again, if it's not formulated correctly with other humectants, it will pull moisture from your skin. So if you are feeling that sort of dry, sandpapery texture on your skin, you do have a buildup of old dead skin cells that need to come off. Now, luckily, there are some things you can do in your skincare routine, some certain products, of course, that you can use to help with this and some exfoliation steps that will do almost immediate service to your skin once you do them. And it can help reduce the look of large pores, fine lines and wrinkles, which are often accentuated when you have this textured skin. All right, so the best products that you should definitely have in your skincare routine to help with this, first and foremost, is a chemical peel product. Now, I use The Ordinary. You guys know this at Watch the Channel, talk about this product a lot. It is an AHA 30% and a BHA 2%. So that's a glycolic acid and a salicylic acid formulation that is strong enough to help break down and dissolve that crusty thin layer of skin. Now I use this product twice a week and it does give me smoother, fresher, softer, healthier looking skin. And the reason for that is that it helps make sure that any of those leftover skin cells from the other products I'm using are able to be sloughed off easily. Now, I also recommend that you combine this step with a daily gentle exfoliation process using a product like this, which is a Buff Puff Gentle Facial Exfoliating Sponge. Wow, tongue twister. But anyway, I use this daily with my face wash, very lightly swirls away any leftover skin stuck to the surface. It helped give you that very fresh, rosy look. I'm telling you, this is a great product. You guys know I recommend it a ton, but you've got to have something in your skincare routine if you have a textured skin problem to help lift off those skin cells. But for whatever reason, your body chemistry, the products that you've been using, maybe the environment you're in is dry, that's what's causing that issue. Now, the other product that's very, very important in a skincare routine when you have textured skin issues is a vitamin C serum. And of course, you guys know that I use vitamin C, 23% suspension from The Ordinary with HA, 
hyaluronic acid spheres. I use it every morning. And what vitamin C can do for your skin is it also helps loosen those dead skin cells, but it strengthens the new skin you're producing. And that new skin, as it comes to the surface, looks better and better with time. Now, the other important thing to know about vitamin C serums is the strength that you need. And there are a lot of products on the market with varying strengths, but you need one that's at least 15% L-ascorbic acid. It'll be on the label, just like this one says 23%. The reason for that is you need a vitamin C serum that's strong enough to help dislodge those cells and penetrate to get to that new skin so that it creates that structure to produce healthier skin cells. So very important that you know what strength you're using and it's gotta be 15% or higher. Now let's go back and talk about hyaluronic acid moisturizers. They still are the number one way to moisturize your skin and give it a moisture balance throughout the day. Now, obviously, if you're in a dry climate, you wanna make sure you're using a formulation that contains other humectants like dimethicone or glycerin. The reason for that is, again, the hyaluronic acid is gonna grab moisture from wherever it can get it, and we want it to come from the air into the skin. Now, the product that I use right now is Neutrogena, Hydro Boost for extra dry skin because that is the formulation of this product. It is hyaluronic acid, it is glycerin and dimethicone without fragrance. So it's gonna hydrate my skin all day without any chance of irritation or extra dryness because we wanna make sure that the skin has moisture available to it all day long. And then this is very, very important. You must use sunscreen. SPF 15 or higher, you guys know that I like zinc-based sunscreens over chemical because they are safer for you and the environment and the formulations these days go on without balling up your makeup or causing other problems with your skincare products. And it's just so important because your skin reacts to UVA, UVB light by protecting itself. It's gonna hold on and thicken up that outer layer of skin. That's what we see in aging issues with people that have had a lot of sunlight over the years of their skin. It's just your skin trying to protect you from the effects of the sun. So sunscreen, super important. You're gonna do all that work to get that thin crust of skin off. You wanna make sure it doesn't come back. And sunscreen is one of the main ways to prevent that. Now, I hope this quick video today on textured skin shows you how it happens and what to do about it or what you can do about it and what to use. If you did find the video helpful, please be sure and give it a like and comment below and let me know what you've been using for your textured skin problems. I'd like to know what's working out there and what's not. Also be sure and watch my next videos that come up so that you know what else you can do to perfect your skincare routine and get your best look at skin ever. You guys know I love you. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. Stay beautiful and I'll see you over on the next video.